This is the Canon 750D. It is the DSLR we've been using for our videos and short films for the last year, though I would like to say up front it is only the second DSLR we've owned, so this review may not be entirely comprehensive. That said, because we are maybe a bit more representative of the kind of market this camera attracts, our perspective might prove somewhat more insightful to filmmakers looking to get their first DSLR. The camera can shoot 1080p video at 25 frames per second, or 720p video at 50 frames per second if you're after some slow motion footage. Of course, 4K is becoming the standard across other consumer level alternatives, so its absence is a little disappointing here. If you're looking to future proof your first DSLR, then you might want to consider something else, but we've found, at least for the moment, that 1080p offers more than enough resolution for our projects. The 750D offers full manual control over the images you get. If you are a first time DSLR user, the settings may appear daunting at first, so it's definitely worth reading into what each one does. Once you get to grips with it, you can yield some nice looking shots from it. From an ergonomic perspective, there are certain features from my previous camera, the Nikon D5100, that I would have liked to have seen on the 750D. Notably, the grips are quite small and the battery and SD card slots can be rather fiddly. Also important to note is that the focus ring on the kit lens, and indeed other Canon STM lenses, is electronic. This means that the rate at which the focus shifts is dependent on how fast you move the ring, which in turn makes it now impossible to mark up any focus changes in your shots. Certainly it's worth looking at alternative manual lenses if you plan on using the camera for filmmaking. The built-in mic is serviceable, but for shot films you're probably going to want to invest in an external shotgun microphone. The 750D does have a mic input, so you can connect another microphone directly and the audio levels can be adjusted from within the camera. Ultimately I got this camera because I needed something that would not only offer high quality video, but also work with my stop motion software. If you're looking for something purely for videography and filmmaking, then there are other options in the price range of the 750D that have 4K capabilities and might better suit your needs. Buying a DSLR for the first time is all about the research, and decent features for one user might not be so worthwhile for another. Speaking from experience, this camera's predecessor, the 700D, came highly recommended amongst the DSLR filmmaking crowd, so I settled on the 750D as the next step up. But of course, there are so many options these days, it's difficult to figure out exactly which camera will work best for you. That all said, the 750D is an excellent camera and has proven itself really versatile in its functionality. It can be overlooked in favour of its bigger brother, the 70D, but at this price point it definitely warrants further consideration. Thank you for watching. If you have any feedback on this review or any further questions about the camera, then please feel free to leave a comment below.